down to a second, a million thought a dream. Go, go, go for the limit with the power I believe. Just soak it up like a flower, like a summer field, aching to be healed. Just rain on me. You blow me into space. So this day started out with a meeting right here uh, at Solna. So it was a stressful morning. I have to leave the kids at daycare. Almost missed this meeting. And there was a load of traffic. It's Tuesday. So this is work again. When you're building a new road, you want to make sure that everybody has agreed on what you're going to do. So you have several meetings with everybody involved and explain what you're doing, although you have not decided it yet. And therefore in Sweden, it takes like many years before you can even start building. Some say it's a part of the democratic process of building. Some say it's just bureaucracy screwing things up. I don't know. We just work and we do what we're told and uh, the politicians can do decisions about whether this is a good approach or not. Moving on. So by the way, did you see the sky this morning? I never seen the sky like that. I'm gonna put together um, a panoramic shot I took with the Mavic. You can check it out now. Did you like it? I think it was quite awesome. What am I doing today? Today is only meetings with uh, the client. This was the first meeting. The second meeting is after lunch. And uh, I'm gonna keep the video short. I always fail with that, but I will try. Also, if you survived yesterday's video, I figured it was good enough. You can stay watching the channel, cause that was the low point of content. We did not even have aerial shots yesterday. We had nothing, but things can only get better. Break it down to a second, a million thought a dream. Go, go, go for the limit, with the power I believe. To soak it up like a flower, like a summer field Aching to be healed Just rain on me You blow me into space That was the end of the second mentality. That was the end of the second meeting today. It was a long one, three hours. It was a lot of questions about the ongoing project where they are actually excavating the rock tunnel right now. We need to handle some of the difficulties and also handle the other authorities so we don't mess up. I believe we sorted a lot of things out. Now I gotta go home and pick up the kids. It is 20 minutes after 3 in the afternoon and we still have daylight. It's getting brighter every day. Why did I ever get the idea to start doing vlogs in the autumn after the summer? Darkness, darkness, darkness. So summertime will be like piece cake compared to this. Let's get out of here. I'm coming kids. Oh, sorry. <laughs> today I'm such a senile bastard. I drive to daycare and realize that it's not my day to pick up the day, pick up the kids from daycare. So I'm going home because the kids are already home. Usually this means that it has been a long day and my brain is tired. So when I said kids, I'm coming. 
I meant I'm coming home. But hey, since I saved a few minutes there, not having to pick up the kids, let's do some questions from yesterday's video. Because <laughs> I haven't had time to answer any of them. I'm just gonna park the car here first at home. I figured yesterday's video sucked, but you seem to like it. I'm glad for that. I guess I'm getting kind of hard on myself after a while. So, Jose asks me, how are the maintenance cost of cars with that amount of salt you have on the roads? Well, it depends. If you have snow, it's no big difference if you live in the northern parts of Sweden, but down here in the south, cars get destroyed faster with all the salt. You have to uh, conceal the paint Lackförsegling. You have to protect the paint with wax and stuff like that. Looks okay, so Mr. Soulman. 40, de 40 degrees in Sydney today, looks cold over there. I'm coming over. <laughs> Is tunnel excavation a usual business in Sweden? Edward Richards, well, in Stockholm it's very common because you have no space left on the surface. But I would say it's not many people know much about it. We're special, we the guys who know something about it. Roger Byrne, why am I learning Arabic? Well, I've been doing a language project for five years in my car. So Arabic is the fifth language I'm learning. So that's just one of all the languages I'm learning. I have acquired basic uh, Italian, Russian, French, Spanish, and now it's Arabic, not Arabic. Ah, Rabbit. <laughs> Sorry about that. Will I get a dash cam? I already have a GoPro and the mount for the windshield. It's so hard every day to mount the GoPro in the windshield. So usually I just hold up the camera. So I already have a dash cam, but I think that having the same angle all the time looks boring after a while. So I like to switch it a bit so you get like a bit zoom in there, zoom. That's all the questions from yesterday. Time to go for the kids. Hey! Hello! Hey! Hey honey! I screwed up today. I went to daycare to pick up the kids. There wasn't anyone there. I'll be in the kitchen if you need me. This is pretty much the life puzzle. Hang out a bit with the kids, go back to edit, move the computer out to the living room, go back to edit. I'm gonna put some energy into this one and hopefully be done in one and a half hour. That's enough pink skies for one day. You blow me into space. 